G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. Hope you're ready for another Christmas themed uh, cocktail. I was looking through uh, the various Christmas themed cocktails there are online and in books and my wordy, there are a lot. And I was going to go with a really simple one called the Snowball. This is very popular, particularly in England. In fact, it's so popular uh, on the Diffid's Guide website, even though this is only a Christmas drink, people are only looking it up at Christmas. They look it up so much in terms of searches on the site. It's in the top 10 cocktails searched all years, all year, even though people are only searching for it at Christmas. And it's really simple. It's uh, It centers around this stuff, Advocate, which is basically brandied custard. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it, it's in simplest form, it's Advocate, lime juice, and lemonade. That's it, shake it up, that is your snowball and it's a big deal in the UK in uh, Christmas time and I was going to do that but then I found what I thought was a much more interesting one that centered around Advocate and that's what I'm going to make now. It's called uh, a whiskey butter and it has uh, a couple of different scotch whiskies in it. That's where my uh, little gift pack of scotch whiskies is going to come into its own uh, and of course it has Advocate and that's what I'm going to put in first because here's a little tip. Uh, if you're making a cocktail with multiple ingredients and it has Advocate in it, put the Advocate in first because it's, in, it's a very thick, creamy uh, liqueur and it's going to coat your jigger and uh, rather than have it at the end and have trouble washing it out, if you put it in first, then the other ingredients are going to slowly rinse it clear and you're going to get uh, the maximum advocat in your drink. That's just a handy little angry kitchen tip for you. But let's go in. I'm going to check. It is one fluid ounce. Yes, 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 yes. No, yes, maybe three quarters. Ah, oh, wow. I'm so glad to. Hey, I have not had many drinks at a work Christmas party today. Don't judge. So yes, the first thing I'm going to put in is the advocat and three quarters of an ounce. As I said, there's also scotch in here. So from my Johnny Walker little gift pack here, I'm going to get their gold label. Use a scotch that you like, essentially. Uh, and not a really smoky Isla scotch, because this actually has an, uh, a smoky scotch float. So just uh, a scotch of your preference. I'm using this one. I'm going to put one and a half ounces, or 45 mils of scotch in. The recipe also calls for one ounce or 30 mils of Fino Sherry. That seems like another very uh, Christmassy drink. Um, it seemed pretty uncool for a lot of years, Sherry. It's like the thing, that's the thing your granny drinks, Sherry. But Sherry's been making quite a comeback in uh, boutique cocktails in the last few years. And I quite like it in cocktails myself. So we're gonna put in 30 mils, one ounce of Fino Sherry. The recipe also calls for a quarter of an ounce of yellow chartreuse. Uh, long time viewers of the channel might guess what I'm going to substitute here. An Australian liqueur called Okar Gold, their Outback liqueur. It's uh, quite similar to yellow chartreuse, uh, but it's made with Australian botanicals rather than European ones. Uh, but it's a very suitable replacement and I really like it. This is one of a couple things that I like always have to have on my drink shelf because it's such a good drink. Uh, but yeah, quarter of an ounce, uh, seven and a half mils of Ocar Gold or yellow chartreuse going in. We add ice to our shaker, put the tins together, bang it in hard. Now because of the Advocate in here, we want to shake this really quite hard for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now we strain this into a chilled glass. I'm using a coupe. You can use whatever you like, maybe a Nicanora martini if you want to have a, another Christmas martini. But straining that in there. There you go. But that is not the final touch. The final touch is a float of Isla Scotch. So maybe five to seven and a half mils. So somewhere in the region of 
quarter of an ounce of Isla Scotch. Technically, this isn't an Isla Scotch. This is Johnny Walker Double Black from my gift pack, but it's a very smoky Scotch. So it's got that smoky characteristic the Isla Scotches have. So I'm going to do a float, see uh, as, as well as I can get a float happening on top of this cocktail. So I use my bar spoon to float the scotch on top and yeah, oh yes, there is, you've, you've got that distinctive smoky aroma on there. The Advocat actually has uh, a reasonable aroma of its own. That's what I was smelling first, but mm, the smokiness is definitely there. So uh, now for the all important taste test. Oh, oh. Oh, that's got a lot more going on than a snowball. Oh, ooh, yeah. No, the layers in this. The Advocat is very uh, rich and creamy, which is nice. Um, I could, even with just a quarter of an ounce of the Oka Gold, I get those herbal elements in there. And then there's the obvious scotch elements and the smokiness of the smoky scotch coming in last. It's a... Uh, it's a real cavalcade of flavors in here. Mmm. Ah, oh, yeah, that's got a lot more going on than a snowball. I know I said that, but this, this is a really top-notch dessert cocktail in my mind. Often, um, again, I'm not completely averse to dessert cocktails that are just sweet, but a, a dessert cocktail that's sweet and creamy and has body and character and multiple levels of flavor in it. I'm here for this, definitely. This is definitely gonna make uh, an awkward family Christmas dinner uh, a bit more tolerable. Shut up, my family's not dysfunctional. Who said it was? Uh, <laughs> two might be even better, but this is a good start. The whiskey butter. Um, I think it's worth a try on Christmas. Get you in that Christmas spirit. And I hope uh, whatever is happening for you at this time of year, you have a good time. I hope you're safe. I hope you're well. I hope to see you again soon. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you did. Hit the little subscription uh, note at the bell. Tells you when I'm uploading. So you can come back and see what happens next. See what happens in the future. Because uh, I do look forward to seeing you again soon. So take care, be well, and I hope to see you again soon. Until I do, cheers.